Hey guys, welcome to part two. In the first part of this little two-part series, I guess, we talked about trigonometry. In this one, we're going to talk about uh, Pythagorean's theorem, all right? A little bit of geometry now. So what I want to highlight here is uh, just what I mentioned, I guess, Pythagorean's theorem. Now, what is Pythagorean's theorem? Well, it's simply an equation that relates all of the sides of a right triangle to one another. So the formula is, as you, I'm sure you're familiar with, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, what's a, b, and c? Well, it turns out that c is the special side that represents the length of the hypotenuse, always. a and b, then, will just reference one of the two other sides of that right triangle, okay? So it's a fairly straightforward formula. Let's see how it works. So let's say we have a triangle, and let's say we know the length of two of those sides, not the hypotenuse. So let's say one of them's three, the other one's four. The question is then, how do we figure out that missing side? Well, we can use Pythagorean's theorem, right? Anytime we know two of the sides, and we've got to figure out the third, doesn't matter whether, whether it's the hypotenuse or that third side is going to be one of the other sides, we can always use Pythagorean's theorem. So let's plug it in, all right? So let's say for A, that may, that's the uh, length of three, so we plug it in. Let's say that B is then the length of four, so we plug that in. And then that's going to equal then C squared, which is just representing, C is just representing the hypotenuse. So when we do that math out, right, we square the three, that's a nine, we square the four, that's a 16, and that's gonna equal c squared. We add those two together, it's 25, right? 25 is equal to c squared. I know I'm running through this. And what do we get? What? Yeah, five, right? When we take the square root of both sides, because we wanna find just c and not c squared, the square root of 25 is five, and the square root of c squared is just c. So we realize that c, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to five, all right? So hopefully you follow that. So we now know that the length of that hypotenuse is five, and that's all that there is to it. How would we find those measures of those angles that are missing inside of the right triangle? Leave a comment below, all right? And I'll let you know if you're right. So yeah, that's it, that's it. So we got trigonometry out of the way, we took care of Pythagorean's theorem here, and those really are the two very, very important concepts that we need to know about right triangles before we start physics. It's going to be extremely important when you get to vectors. you got to know this like the back of your hand. I never kind of understood that saying, right? The back of your hand, do you even, I don't even know how many freckles I have on the back of my hand. Uh, so I never really understood that. Why? I mean, you're shaking. I don't. Would you know your palm better than the back? I don't even know. I might just start saying that from now on. Know it like the palm of your hand. Just to be strange. Thanks for tuning in. All right. And by the way, don't forget, we're writing a book. Take a look in the description below. I'll leave you a link. It's totally free. Just give us some feedback. All right. We hope you really like it. We're trying to help you out as much as we can here uh, with your physics class. So um, until next time, my friends.